hey welcome back to my channel um, I hope everyone is doing really well hello to um, any new subscribers hello to my friends who've been subscribed for a while and everybody who is watching that hasn't subscribed press the subscribe button and that little bell and it'll keep you up to date with everything um, that I'm doing yeah so today's video is a little product test um, it is oh, GI it is, oh, I don't know if you can see that, it's a bit bright. It's a BioCell eye mask. Now I've had this for months. I can't even remember what box it came in. I want to say maybe a glossy box. Um, but it probably came in like maybe the November one. I've had it for ages, I've just not really got around to using it. Um, so it's a BioCell Bright Soothing Eye Mask. Uh, its purpose is to um, intense soothing eye mask moisturize smooths fine lines and lightens dark circles under the eyes where else you can get dark circles um, compositional hyaluronic acid effectively restores skin moisture balance nourishes it and keeps the skin elastic and bright so that is some claims now I have got little fine line wrinkles can you see that like smile lines I hate them I hate them I've got dark circles as well I have children you don't sleep very often I do kind of I say shifty sort of work shifty shift work I'm not like dodgy um, so I do shift work, um, I say shift work, I tend to t stick to kind of 12, 8, sometimes it's finishing after 8, but I need about three and a half hours to chill, so I'm a really kind of nighttime person, so bedtime for me is anywhere between sort of half 12 and 2, um, so I'm kind of up late and then I'm up early with the kids, so I don't really get a lot of sleep sleep. Um, but that's more my own choice so yeah anything that helps like dark circles and bags is a winner for me so directions for use um, so this is just an eye mask which I think is great because as we know um, any of my wonderful subscribers out there or anyone that have seen my product test before um, I struggle with face masks <laughs> really struggle with them they just don't fit very well um, around the lip area um, I have a new one to try though that came in the glossy box for this month and it looks like it's in two pieces so I'm really kind of excited to do that but I haven't obviously done that yet so anyway rambling directions prior to use it's recommended to taste pro taste test product blah 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 yep so if you want to test the product test the product two to three hours um i don't most of us probably don't and anyone that does is just thumbs up for being good because i don't um i've taken my i'd makeup on today i went to work um so that's all come off so it's clean and it's clear and it's cleansed um so you put the face mask on distribute it evenly and gently massage it so the mask would be pressed into your skin and then relax for 15 to 20 minutes and then you remove this mask but you don't wash any of the product off and you don't wipe it off they say then you sort of massage it into the skin so I'm going to just warm it up a little bit Um, I think who was it I think Lynette so that's a sparkly princess Lynette blogs Um, runs hers under the tap as well it's a really good really good idea um because i have put a fair few face masks on that have been like ice cold like whoa. so right let's do this it smells nice i have an issue with wet things which <laughs> is so that's why i can't work with animals it's bad enough um i work in hotels it's bad enough working in the kitchen i wash my hands so many times a day Look how wet it is in there. I don't know if you can see that. Look at all that. Okay. It's just got to go in. Somebody else actually said um, about 
reusing the mask because obviously you get more serum than you do mask so they kind of they need to fold up really carefully pop it back in and reuse it one of the big youtubers does that oh no pet hate see all these things sent me off on rambles okay so there's actually quite a lot i was gonna say of juice of serum still left in that so i'm gonna put that to one side and this may be the first mask i try reusing however this is my bugbear right you in so there's the mask are we in then we peel it open is there an upside and a downside to this that must be the upside what's the plastic bit for how many masks i mean i've had loads of masks that don't that don't have the extra plastic and i've had loads of masks that do put the extra plastic in Get over it, it's plastic. Oh, which one's upside down? I don't like the fact that they're not proper eye holes. Does that mean I've got to close my eyes? Excuse me. Don't like it. Yeah. See that? That's not even a proper eye hole. That means I've got to close my eyes while I put this mask on. So A, what happens if I open it? B, what happens if I don't want to have my eyeballs? Eyeballs? Well, I just don't want to see I'm rambling now. I don't want my eyes closed. Right. I'm going to fold the eyes back. Yeah. This may take a minute. Nothing's ever simple with me. It's always a moan. Or a rant or a ramble. I think being with Pete for too long, I'm blaming him anyway. You turn into your partner and he can ramble and moan like the rest of him. He's got a little soapbox. Right. Eyes. Oh, oh it's wet. Oh, I don't like it. There we go. Eyes bent back. Two eye holes. Right. Let's move that fringe. Mm. Yeah, maybe I should have moved that fringe properly. We'll deal with this side first. Oh, that's nice. I'm going to do this side. Look at the concentration on my face. Now the mask is fighting me slightly because it wants to be, it wants to close its eyes. But I don't like being like this for 20 minutes. I don't like the idea of taking one of my senses away for 20 minutes. Not like I'm a paranoid well, I say paranoid weirdo, but I don't like the idea of having something over my eyes, pressing them shut. Now, to get the desired effect, I will rub some of the serum on my eyelids. There we go. And we're in. And look at that. No serum dripping down my top lip and into my mouth. Look at that, though. Oh, not necessary to get rid of that. Okay. 15 to 20 minutes. Keep in a dry place, room temperature, blah, 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 blah. Done. Feels quite nice. Smells nice, too. So we shall see what it's like on bags, because I have big bags. Well, Ooh. put some more on my eyes. Again, I've got, um, I've got really dry lips at the moment. 
I'm not sure if it's the weather or I added an extra step to my morning and nighttime kind of face cream. I'm just putting some lip stuff on. Um, face cream re re regime. There we go. So I'm wondering. My lips have been a bit dry and cracked. They're not really chip chipped. Chip chip cracked. Chipped. Chapped. There we go. Um, so I'm wondering whether it's the extra step that I've done. I got some, where is it? Hyaluronic acid from uh, in my Look Fantastic box. Um, and I've been using that every day, for twice a day, once in the morning and once at night. And then I've been putting my uh, morning and my night cream on and I was using the same morning and night cream now for ages and then that's been the new kind of introduction to my routine it is more windy these days I'm not a fresh air I've not done, I've spent a lot of time outside in the fresh air but my lips are terrible they're actually quite sore kind of around here and then a little bit here. The lip itself's not too bad, but it's round the outside. At the moment, I'm putting on um, Figs and Rue's Hydra Active Smart Lip Balm that I got in a January or a December rocker box. I am, and I do use that quite often at night time, but I haven't been using it recently. So I'm wondering, there was a comment from one of my wonderful subscribers um, and she said that maybe um, to be careful with the hyaluronic acid because it can draw the moisture out. So I'm wondering, obviously I'm kind of like, um, it's quite gloopy this stuff, the hyaluronic acid. So I'm putting kind of like drop here, drop somewhere here, drop here and then obviously doing my face with it then it doesn't take that long for it to soak in and then I'm going over with the face cream and I'm wondering whether it's just a bit too sensitive um, or a bit too strong for my lips so I'm gonna put um, some like uh, night cream and I've just got a what's it called Dr. Paw Paw their original kind of lip balm which is great um, so I'm going to try and be put a bit of that on and see if that makes it any better over the next few days um, and avoid the lip area with the hyaluronic acid. So, yeah. Hopefully that'll make it a bit better. Right, see, I'm rambling about useless and, like, just stuff. So, that's probably taken nearly six minutes. So this needs to come off in another five, six minutes. And then we'll see how we've got on. So I shall be back. Hey, I'm back. Well, one fell down. The other one is kind of down, but I stuck it into the crease of my eye. So I'm technically blind. What, what's that from the one-eyed willy from the Goonies? Yeah, I've got one eye. I can see a slit if I do this. Well, it's nearly dry actually, this. It's been quite nice. It's nice not to taste the products. I struggle with face masks and I always end up tasting them, which is gross. So, I'm going to peel this off. And I did say that I'm going to try and see if I can reuse this mask Ooh. oh yeah no plastic needed either I don't need that stupid plastic bit to refold okay one folded up face mask and there's loads of um, serum stuff left in this so I'm going to put that back in 
as my other YouTuber friend said. Squidge it round. Oh, yeah. Pop that in there. Right, so this mask was a um, rub in any extra. Um, so I massage any extra into the skin and don't wipe off. To be fair though, my skin kind of has pretty much absorbed all that. Okay, it's in. I don't know if I see any difference. I've still got little eye lines. I don't really seem that much. Maybe I want them to seem less noticeable. We'll see. It definitely felt nice though. And my skin feels nice. So for, for a brightening, soothing eye mask. Yeah, it felt nice. First eye mask I have just used rather than kind of like the full face masks. Um, but yeah, it's nice. My eyes feel nice. Down here feels a bit um, tight, a bit more tight. Yeah, together more tight than usual. But it could be the fact that it's had serum and it's drying. Um, but yeah, all in all, I quite like that brand. Um, and... I've got another one I'm going to do in a couple of days time and um, yeah two for the price of one so whoever um, told me that thumbs up kudos to you it's somewhere in one of my comments I'll have to go back and check one of my videos can't quite remember who it was but yeah there's a for that I'm asked really nice so for me, um, buy or sell eye mask with a definite thumbs up. Um, I would use it again. Yeah. Hope you like this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, and we'll have a chat in the comments, I'm sure. Bye.